and welcome back to Cruise Ship Tycoon where today we're going to be buying the biggest, the best and most importantly the most expensive cruise ship today. The final one boys, the big boy and we're going to deck it out to make sure it looks super duper amazing before we set sail on the seven seas. Guys, this is going to be amazing. And also, so freaking expensive. But guys, if you enjoy this, I want to see more Cruise Ship Tycoon in the future. I've got some fun experiments that I want to try and attempt in the future, guys. If you want to see those, smash that like button down below. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure that you do subscribe so you don't miss out on those cool and amazing and awesome videos coming your way. You know, guys, I've got, uh, what? Well, I actually forget the actual ship names. If I go to manage... And, okay, we got the Pelican class. If I go to buy a new ship, the only one that's left is the Osprey class. Which, ow, <laughs> it's two million. Uh, it's a good job we got two million in our pockets right now. It means I'll have 65,000 left over, which is not enough to do anything with it. But luckily, we trade in the other boat and we sell it and get like its contents worth. So I reckon that's got to be like a half a million we're going to get back in total. Now, this is a lot bigger than any cruise ship we've ever had before. This is a lot heavier than any cruise ship before. But we can put so many more kind of guests on board, have so much room for expansions, do so many crazy things, but it's gonna be slower. It's probably gonna be the slowest bow out of all of them, unless I can place down like a ton of engines and batteries. We'll see how things go. So just looking at it very quickly, the Pelican class is 1.2 million kg mass this is 1.6 uh, the pelican is uh, 2500 tiles this is 4100 tiles to use and place stuff down that's ridiculous length is 60 tiles on a pelican this one's 74 so it's a lot longer this one's nine wide and this one's 10 wide so it's one tile wider right this is going to be so freaking expensive but are you ready for this guys are you ready because we are legit about to do this so boom Right. Oh, okay. So buy this ship. We'll sell your... Okay, we got 1.9 million for selling our current one. I thought I was only going to get half a million. That's amazing. Right. It's going to tele teleport us back to New Newport. That's what it does. But let's take a look at this ship. Oh, my... God. Look, at, look at the staggered decks. That's amazing. That is legit amazing. Oh, have we got lights here right now? Before there wasn't lights when you kind of customize it in the dark. Wow. We need to put like a door or something there. So people can get out. There's so many balconies on this side. And oh, there's so many balconies on that side too. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be so freaking exciting. Guys, I can't wait for this. I cannot wait for this. This is going to be amazing. Right, let's go to uh, edit mode. And let's see. So it's got a ton of engines already in. But there's so much room for extra engines. This is unreal. And I think that's what I need to kind of uh, focus on, to be honest, is getting quite a lot of uh, the power inside of it. Oh, no, I don't want to drive the ship. I want to edit the ship. There we go. Can I have some light, please? Can, can your boy have some light? Hold on. Oh, no, edit. Is it gone? Light? If I run over here, if I like, try, and, if I just quickly light up the whole ship in edit mode, does it not work like that? Okay, there we go. There we go. Right, so build then. We need to get to power. The first thing we're going to do is drop some engines. Because you know this is the heaviest ship that we've ever had. So we need to make sure it's got enough power to move it in the water. So 10,000 apart. These are expensive. If I rotated it. Um, I could do. Because the, the awkward thing is. It's. Uh, hang on. It's 10 tiles wide, isn't it? Well, I'm not sure if it's 10 tiles wide on, on the widest point. But we'll get all of these in. Or do I get him in like this? So let's drop a few like this. Right, it's a lot of engines. But it's a lot of engines that we're going to need to be able to power this. Now, with all these engines, it also means we're going to need a ton. And I mean a ton of uh, fuel tanks. So let's see the fuel tanks here. Oh, okay. Let's get the big boy one, the medium one. And where does that fit in? So it leaves a little bit of a gap where we can put in some batteries down the side. 
But if I get enough fuel tanks, then we should be good. That's combined with the ones that are already in here anyway. That should be enough at the moment. I've got 1.8 million left. So batteries here then. Let's kind of squeeze some batteries down the side. So can we, yeah, we squeeze them down. So we can get, is it two? Yeah, it's two per fuel tank, which is good. It leaves me a lot of room left over to add in future stuff. I don't know what I'm going to place them down here. Probably more engines. But we need a um, place to store the goods. We need, uh, where is it? The utilities. It is the storage down here. We can actually get like a, a medium one, can't we? Yeah. So get these ones in. So one, two. One, two. And then get like a small one there. I don't know if that is going to be enough storage down here. There's going to be more way to find out, and that's a kind of like sets out. So I don't think I'm going to do everything in this episode, like completely max it out. So I want to kind of go through it all. But I'm going to see what these engines do for us, and then uh, see what kind of power they're giving us before we then expand a little bit further. So we've got so much room there for expansions. It's going to be amazing. Right. So, so let's go up a deck then. And we got we got quite a few decks, so I think this should be the one because it's got no balconies. This should be the one where they eat and have some entertainment. The next deck up here, okay, this also has no balconies as well, so we could do something cool with this. And then the deck up, that's when the balconies then begin and then start. And how many have I got up from that? Quite a few. Now I've kind of seen people in the past they kind of delete the top bit so you can see down below to the the floor down below. If that made any sense. And I think I want to do something very similar. Which would be kind of cool. But I don't know how to approach doing that. So if I go to... Uh, is it just simply remove? How do I remove? Hang on. Build. Floor. Open. That's what I want to do. I want to create an open space. And there's actually quite a lot. Wait. Can I make them like a bigger square? No, you can't. Oh, there's also glass as well. Like you do like a glass roof. That would be kind of dope, wouldn't it? That would be kind of dope. Right, okay. Let's start with this then. And uh, the thing is, I need to kind of have a feel for it. Because I could put like a swimming pool somewhere. I just don't know where yet. <laughs> and honestly, I just don't know where. But what if I um, go up a deck here? I'm trying to find the best spot for this. So if I go to build, for example, uh, where is it? Activities, swimming pool. Is that the medium pool? We want the large pool and let's say we, we bought this and let's say i placed it in all right one two hang on so place wait rotate it's an awkward size isn't it you have two or three on the one side which is kind of annoying don't you think that's kind of annoying what about a medium one you have one two three yeah, that fits in more perfectly like this. But this is the thing, though. I want it to kind of go... Oh, yeah, I've got to remove these. Let me remove these. <laughs> Can I place these this in? So if I did it there, how does that affect down below? So it kind of does that to it there. So it creates a little walk around that we can have, which is good. I like it. So deck up. Then so we got a swimming pool on the top. And then this is where I can now, um, if we go to build and do the floors and remove, and we'll make it at least open. This is where I can then play around with it. So open. Can I drag? Oh, I can. This makes life so much easier. So if I drag it to like that point there, make it open. Oh, this is gonna be so dope! You can then see down below where we can have like um, like a little seating area from like that where peeps can look up and enjoy the gloriousness uh, that is. Of the sunlight coming through but i need to build the walls around don't i is there a way we can do a railing or a glass railing wait whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. there's many different types there's a slanted there's a corner okay right that's kind of cool right let's get this down then so boom 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 all the way across all the way across oh look how glorious this is all the way to there and all the way to there so we created that little platform that goes in and you can see underneath. How freaking dope is that, boys? How dope is that? I love this. I like it. Right, we need to do the stairs then. So where's the best place to place the where's the best place to place the stairs? Um So it's probably always a good shout to do it 
like in these little sections there but can I include now this will be interesting at, at the back there I could do it there it just gets narrower and narrower but what if I included it in this just out of interest I want to see how it looks so utilities Does it come, yeah it comes with utilities stairwell there's two types you can also do a carpeted one which I've never done a carpet one before so we'll take that and if I rotate it like this I could have I could drop two in couldn't I right I pressed it it didn't go in oh yeah that's weird <laughs> that's weird <laughs> right let's try that again have we got to go down a deck yeah right done place I've got to try and figure out where it goes so down uh, okay there does it quite go to a uh, no it doesn't go to the edge that's what I'm trying to get it to do is to go to the edge I figured out how I can do it simply and make it very easy but it's all up okay right if I place it there and then delete this one right that now touches the edge I'm just gotta delete that little section there and that works and then I'm gonna do one here as well which we can't like flip it over which is a shame so it means I have to kind of get rid of that yeah or I could rotate it and have it come to the side. Yeah, and it, it will leave me to build stuff in the middle. Or not. I don't know. Oh, I just, no, we're going to keep it like that. We're going to keep it like that. There are so many decisions I can legit make. Right, we're going with this. This is... this is. I, 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 Steady Eck has spoken. Right, there we go. So drop that down there. You have to go down and back up to then view it. To delete this one. So I can then see that one placed down here. Which is pretty cool. And then... Now I've got to try and figure out, is it underneath? No. This, this is the issues i got now. Now I've got to go build. And um, what is it again? Is it walls or floors? Floors. There we go. So, boo. Does it not want to do it? Oh, it has done it. I, I can barely see it. That's why. Right. Down a deck. And again, you can't see it. So, it makes it even more difficult at this point. So, unless I kept it there. And then made the stairs go down here like normal. Yeah. I, I think that's the best best way to do it. Right. Right. The stairs are back in. I mean, the floor's back in. Right. Stairs then. Finally. You, is it utilities? Yes. All right. Let's go down the deck. So, rotate. So, if it went there, out of interest again, up. Uh, it falls there, which is again annoying. So can I not? No, I can't really have it there. I could have it there, which will bring it up here, but it cuts into there, and that is shocking. So hmm. remove. This is. They should come pre-built. I know you could. It's called the place of stairs where you want, but don't you think? They should, uh, they should come pre-built with stairs so you know where you want to place them. Right, that just kind of goes in and in. So I would want, if I can, go down. That's either, hang on. That either cuts in beautifully. Yes, it does. Right, rotate. There. Stairs, either side. So it goes up to there, and if it went up. So we've got two stairwells there. And then on this one, there's no stairs. If we went up here, it's got a cool little out section. We'll go down. If I placed it there, then you would have to go back a little bit. See? I mean, I could technically create that myself down below. And then that would work. So we go down. All right, I got this. Guys, we, we got this. Right, delete, delete, delete. 
Boom, 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 boom. All gone. Right. <laughs> the pain I'm going through to get freaking stairs in. Right, so I want to get it there. So pretty much go down. There. There. And then we have to build the wall around it ourselves. But that gives us then, technically, if you think about it, it's a long walk, but it gives us stairs. But then again, I could have the stairs all in line going down. And it will make my life so much easier. Right, let me sort this out. We'll come back and then we can carry right. on with the rest. We've done it. Finally, we've done it. So it kind of then starts because the bottom deck here is the, the storage stuff. And that's kind of not where you, you don't really want anyone to go through here. So it starts on this floor. And the stairs is at the very end here because it's awkward for me to get the stairwell there because that sticks out a bit too much. But then you go up and you have the two stairs there for this whole floor. You go up again. You go up again. You go up again. And then this floor, the very top one then, to get to the next floor or the roof of the boat, you got these two stairs here. Which you got upper deck and then you're on it. Finally, we've got it figured out. Right, perfect, sweet, mate, love it, beautiful. What are you gonna do about it? So this is the first floor now that contains balconies, and this is where I wanna get my first set of rooms in. So rooms, uh, we're gonna go for the double wide balcony rooms. So here we go, boom. And if I flipped you here, boom. Gives me that two door walkway, which is glorious. So let me see how many of these I can squeeze in. We're going for that high-end clientele to make sure we get the most amount of monies. We want the most amount of monies, boys. The most amount of monies. Because your boy wants to be rich! Richer than my wildest dreams! So I can buy all that freaking sweet, delicious KFC. What you saying? What you saying? So that is that is actually pretty glorious for all those rooms there. It gives a little bit of space on the side. We'll have to place like a wall in just here as well to kind of finish it all off. And then we got doors outside. I believe, yeah, there's some, yeah, door either side. Put some deck chairs and stuff on. And it'd be a re really nice little kind of setup down here, I believe, anyway. So let's just get, um, okay, so we'd actually do a gap there. And then we'll do, oh, boom. Yeah, there we go. I was hanging out too far. We'll do a bit of a gap because we can put like something in the middle between the, the rooms. So it's not just a long walk, a long corridor to either end. The sink in the middle can split them up. Whether that's like a utility, like a toilet. Maybe it's where they get some food or some, you know, some entertainment and stuff like that. We'll just throw something in the middle. Just kind of break up the pattern, so to speak. And again, I'm not going to do everything today. I'm going to probably do this floor, maybe one other floor. And then we'll go and set sail and see how fast this bad boy can go. But, you know, we got to do at least something to make these guys comfortable on here. So we'll get some sunbeds outside now. No, actually, no. We'll get some hot tubs on this floor. So activities, tub. Right, we can squeeze one there. Squeeze one there. Two little hot tubs. Nice. And we want uh, furnishings, some beds. So let's rotate it. One, two beautiful sub beds. Two beautiful sub beds. You can just chill out and relax. Like, that's actually a really cool little pattern design. I like it. I like it. So I want to get the walls in them. So walls, here we go. Just a kind of close that up there so it's the end of the room and the balcony so to speak those um oh i don't know how to do this part now we've definitely got to put them here and definitely got to pull it there oh, spin spin jitsu pull it there now what i'm going to put in the middle here let's have a look we could, we could do activity stuff and uh, maybe like a clothing store we throw down movie theater we could we could possibly do a movie theater i mean it's huge it would like, but then it, it, it is huge. That's, that's the only issue. Uh, I could do a bar, food, uh, the pizzeria. I could drop down. I can actually push it back by one more and then just block off the wall there. But how, what's the spacing like? It gives me an awkward space install, doesn't it? Yeah. Is there any others that are not as awkward? What about a taco stand? Oh, the taco stand fits in perfectly. But I could place in like two taco stands here. I'm just going to have to um, remove the walls and these balconies. Just so I can then push them back a little bit. 
and then we can get some seating in the middle. So we can put f uh, food on many floors, so they haven't got to walk too far to get to the services that they need to get to. So attack our stand. Right, I could do it like this as well. Right, I could have placed it like that, but no, we're going to go for this. So we'll do one there and one there that closes it all off. Glorious. But there's a door for the kitchens on this side. That's going to be dangerous. I need to sort that out. Let's remove it for now. And then uh, press done. And then uh, we need uh, furnishings. We'll get some um, wooden tables or upholstered, upholstered. Up upholstery tables. There we go. <laughs> Can't even speak English. Right. Let's uh, let's get these in. No, actually, let me get the walls in first, so I can see the space that I've got to play with. So hold on, I need to remove this here for a door. So uh, door, we drop down there. Wall, we then go across. So I can drag it. Oh no. Oh no, I've, I've done a boo-boo already. So that closes up there. I, I put a, a window, that, uh, um, a wall there when it needs to be a window. So let me just get nice, a nice little picture window in for those guys. What, what is now the issue? Oh no, I've messed it up, guys. I've messed it up. It's a, no, is it, oh, is it a balcony window? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Right, glorious. So I just need to get the floor in him. So floors and... Oh, do we go for like a different style? Glass. I mean, wh where would you want a glass floor? I mean, there'd, there'd be many little spots for a glass floor. Oh, what I could do, if you went up a deck, you know the floor that it looks down on here was then also glass? That would be dope, but scary. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, anyway, let's get back to where I was. So, um, okay, we'll get we'll get some carpet down throughout the whole of this. So let's drag some carpet over. Nice. And let the carpet run through the center up to the stairs. So obviously that's where the carpet is. And how does it work when it comes to the corners? Ah, okay, it works like that. Do you know what? It actually looks really, really good. I've just got to sort the uh, this little section and the inside of the uh, the taco stand things. Right, I'm so impressed. I'm already so freaking impressed. Right, we'll get the... No, we'll go with the steel floor. In, in the taco sections and all that. There we go. So now the space that we have left over is for furnishings. Upholstery tables. So one, two. One, two. There we go. So we got four in there that we can dabble with. And then we'll place... Uh, do we have space down here? Yeah, we can place some more tables and chairs over here. Uh, and we'll go with uh, the one-person ones. Turn. There we go. And we'll get some plants in. We get different party plants. So we'll go with the green ones. So we'll do one there. One there. Do something on the opposite side, then we'll choose the other type of plant after. Oh, we get one here. One there. Oh, we'll get some tables and chairs up here as well. That'll be kind of nice. So one there and one there. I need to get a door there as well. Let's go for this one next. So we'll squeeze this one there and there. It's starting to get a little bit dark. So dot all the plants around because it's beautiful. It adds to it all. And then build. we got to remove. This is actually a really good floor. I'm impressed. So remove. you. Can I not remove these? There we go. Build for the doors. That's the floors. I need the doors. Where's the walls? 
Uh, we'll go for the glass door slanted. Uh, that's a plant, Zodiac. There we go. One, two. And then it really opens up this area. So we can have like an outdoor eating area, so to speak. So again, back with these upholstered table, uh, upholstery tables. There we go. So one there, one there. I have to kind of go slightly diagonal. Went there and there. Mm, not a fan of this one being there. So, nice little dining area outside at the front of the boat that you can chill out, eat your tacos on, and whatnot. We'll have more food stands on different floors, but that's what we got in for now. It's only one floor done. So, there's still so many rooms for other stuffs. Oh my goodness me, so many rooms for other stuff to place in, but this is a really nice floor. I've done like the middle floor out of everything. It's kind of weird. It is kind of weird. So last thing I just want to do is go to power, go to the solar panels so we can start recharging some of the power back. And we'll do it from the front. So we'll just do a slight little row going across. So there we go. Beautiful. Do a couple of rows there. I think that's all we kind of need. We need the, uh, even though these are, um, you know, what you call it? A four wide one. Oh my goodness me. That is going to be so dope on the back of the boat. That's, that's going to be amazing. Right, I'm so hyped for this already. Right, so there's still a lot of work I need to do to the boat. A lot of work. A lot of work. I'm not going to take any passengers on board just yet. We'll finish the rest of it off next episode, guys. But I think we should, we kind of need to find out how fast this ship now is. So let's go to drive mode. What's the time? It's currently 2 a.m. So I'm not sure what that is or what it's meant to be. Um, let me, can I run down quickly? Oh, wait, there's, oh, there's another boat merged inside. It's, it's the top of the chimneys of the other boat. But if I go down to the floor that I've just worked with, and the other boat's inside, so you can't really see it as well, but, oh, man. Okay, we'll set sail, then we'll, we'll have a little walk around. Uh, up one more. We'll have a little walk around to see uh, what we've done. This is, oh, this, this, this one's going to be so good. Right, okay, so let's, um, okay, we're going forward. Can, can I can I, can I go right now? Just just oh wait wait wait, wait duck. Let me duck it. I, I need to refuel it. Refuel, recharge, resupply. So I know I haven't got a lot of power with how cheap the recharge was. And if I unduck, go full steam ahead, and we'll see what power this is going to give us. Look at the uh, the little smokestack thing at the back. It's like a little spoiler on our boat, isn't it? So we're we're. Gathering the speeds right now. I'm not sure it's gonna top out at Which it's now starting to slow down a bit So even with the battery power and the current engines that I have right, I had to turn because we can almost crash But we're not even getting up to 20 knots now guys I know this boat is a lot heavier and stuff like that, but I wish we could go a lot faster <laughs> <coughs> That's all I'm saying right now. I wish we could go a lot faster. Let me know in the comment section right now, guys. What's the fastest that you have got this big, well, the biggest boat in the game too? And what do I need? I mean, I've got so much more room to add other stuff in. So much more room to add other stuff in. Oh, there's a dude right here looking like me. So, um, yeah, there's still room for improvements. We'll get it a little bit faster. But I don't feel like we're going to get much faster. But I want to check out that floor that we did then, guys. So here it is. It looks pretty glorious. And you walk down here, you got the nice little taco stands. We get a delicious, delicious Desquakitos. It's a weird name, isn't it? We got two of them. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Go inside. Glorious. Glorious. Oh, am I stuck? Hey, dude. You're fully out. And then we come down here where we've got uh, some more dining options, some more seating and outside. Oh, wait, there's a door. Yeah, the door's here for the jacuzzi as the boat ticks along. That's new. I never noticed that before. I feel like that's new. I'm not sure where we're going, but it's looking hilarious. 
We got so much stuff that we need to add to this boat. So much furniture we need to add in. So many rooms we also need to add in as well, guys. We've only done one floor out of like the six or seven that it has, which is crazy. So guys, I think we're going to end it for here. Then if you enjoyed this and can't wait for next episode where we completely deck out our ship. Get it deck out because, you know, we're on, top, we're on top deck right now. We're going to make it so freaking glorious. Then make sure you smash that like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.